Hi everyone. This week I wanted to talk about how search works on Instagram. This is part of an ongoing series to try and explain more about how Instagram works because we think it's important to be transparent about how we do what we do. So I'm going to talk about search ranking. I'm going to talk about how you can show up higher up in search. I'm going to talk about safety in search and some of the new ideas that are coming to search on Instagram. But first, what is search? Search is that second tab uh, and it's a way to find what you're looking for on Instagram. And the way it works obviously is you type in something that you're interested in and we try to show you those results. And we do this through ranking. And the big difference between how ranking works on search and how it works on feed or stories or explore is you're expressing some level of explicit intent or specific intent. You're searching for something. And so when we try to rank results, that's actually the most important signal or bucket of signals that we look at. What did you search for in the first place? Because search on Instagram is primarily a way to navigate to a profile or to a hashtag. The other two major signals that we look at are your activity on Instagram. So we try to show you things that you might be interested in and information about the results. So accounts that are more popular, for instance, are more likely to show up higher up in search results. Now, how can you do better? How can you show up higher in other people's search results? Three pieces of advice. First, be thoughtful about your handle. If your handle is related to what you do, people are more likely to find you. Second, be thoughtful about your bio on your profile. Specifically, think about the keywords that you're gonna use that are gonna help people find you because we look at that bio when we index results. And third is be really thoughtful about your captions. Not just any comment on your post, but the caption you make when you first make that post. Because we look at that to try to understand what an account is about. If you're thoughtful about those three things, you're more likely to show up higher in people's search results when they're looking for accounts like yours. Now, I also want to talk about safety because it's an important issue. We believe we have a responsibility to keep people safe on our platform. And there are rules about what can and cannot be on Instagram in the first place. Those rules primarily revolve around safety and we call them our community guidelines. So you can't, for instance, celebrate violence. We'll take that photo or video off of Instagram entirely. For the content on Instagram that does not violate our community guidelines, but is somewhat problematic in some other way, we try and make it more difficult to find and search, but not impossible. Because you should be able to find something if it's on Instagram, but we shouldn't be recommending it if it's problematic in some way, shape, or form. A good example is accounts that repeatedly post misinformation as debunked by third-party fact checkers. You're going to have to type a pretty exact match before that result is going to show up in search. And that's a balance because on one hand, it, the product needs to work. You should be able to find anything that is on Instagram in the first place. On the other hand, we don't want to be suggesting content that's problematic unless someone is really explicitly trying to look for that piece of content. So we try to strike that balance as best we can. But we're also looking to improve search. And to date, search has primarily been a way to navigate Instagram, to find an account or go to a hashtag. But we think there's a lot of amazing content on Instagram that you might want to just browse. So we've been experimenting with what we are internally calling interest search. This isn't yet in every language, um, but it is expanding as quickly as we can. So I'm going to do a screen grab real quick, which always makes me a little bit nervous, of what this experience looks like. So if you go to search and you type something like sushi as a topic, You'll see some of your results will just have a little magnifying glass on the left. That means that there's actually a whole page to browse, not a specific hashtag or profile. So if I tap on sushi, for instance, you'll see a grid of content, photos and videos about sushi, which is a pretty cool idea. And you can search for a range of topics in a range of languages, but we're still working to expand and we have a lot more work to do. But check it out and let us know what you think.